Hi everyone, this is ASUS ROG Rapture GT6. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create seamless Wi-Fi network in your house using these two powerful guys. Uh, I won't go deep into details of the ASUS Rotor application because the application is actually pretty self-explaining and simple thing. You just have to follow the instructions of the screen of your smartphone. However, I will show you old school connection method using your uh, PC and web interface of this rotor this method gives you more control over your uh, rotors over your network and i would like to go into details of physical connection methods in th this video so uh, you will know everything about how to connect and manage uh, this rotor First, let's take a look at the back panel of this rotor. What we have here, this is the power socket. Of course, this is the power button. So press it to power on. USB port to connect a file storage like um, SSD drive and the most important Ethernet ports. Uh, this one you have to use to connect your uh, device to the internet. So uh, take the uh, internet cable. Uh, keep in mind, this is 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, so if this speed is available for you, uh, make sure your cable support this speed. Uh, the cable from the box of course supports this speed so I recommend you to use this cable but also you can buy something like longer one or something else. So you need to connect the internet cable over here and the other end of this cable to your internet source. This can be your optical modem, uh, your rotor and even LAN socket in the wall. Uh, in the case if you need to uh, use this rotor instead of your modem you have to contact your internet provider and ask if it's technically uh, possible and what you need to do on the setup process to do this. Probably you need to call this uh, specialist from your internet provider. Uh, so uh, for this example let's imagine that this thing is my optical uh, modem because this is the most uh, common practice to connect to the modem so uh, let's connect the rotor to the internet and one more thing you should know uh, i don't think you pretty much want to uh, use this rotor as a secondary one uh, if it's more powerful uh, than yours so um, the goal is to replace your main rotor with the most powerful most strong device you have uh, in this case this is my modem i have just connected uh, the rotor to the internet uh, to connect another rotor you don't have to do anything actually you can use just wi-fi connection uh, the second unit will automatically connect to the network once it be created you just have to keep it powered on but the best practice if you have such an option best of all is connect rotors via ethernet cable uh, it gives you more speed higher speed uh, one port is labeled as gaming port but never mind you can use any of them to connect devices between each other like this so uh, yellow port is always output and blue port is always input so to connect this one to this one to make them talk together uh, you need just do like this yellow blue uh, but wi-fi wi-fi 6 is also a good option this rotor has pretty uh, high speed this it's expensive and powerful so as you can see you can connect up to three devices to each uh, unit as secondary devices uh, also you can use um, any other uh, asus mesh system models to uh, create seamless wi-fi network but keep in mind that most powerful rotor should be first in your chain always uh, next let's move ahead and complete the connection steps on your computer so first thing you need to do is connect to the rotors network uh, to do this uh, open your wi-fi settings open wi-fi networks list and find asus gt6 network uh, let's take a look at the product label on the bottom of your main rotor and make sure you connect it to your main rotor over there and once connected you have to open any web browser and enter an IP address of your ASUS rotor in the search bar. The default IP address of ASUS rotors is 192.168.50.1, so enter this value in the search bar, hit enter and it takes you to the rotor's web interface. 
click on create a new network uh, next if you use uh, wireless connection method for secondary units keep them close to your main rotor first after the network is created you can move the secondary units in a distance um, of up to 50 feet but 30 to 40 is recommended for better connection uh, so uh, click next now this is the step where you need to get an information from your internet provider uh, if you have some special requirements click on yes and specify this requirement select from this list or just create no and now let's name your network also you can separate 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands and create different uh, network names and passwords but personally I prefer dual band network so enter the network name and create your password for network password, you have to enter at least eight symbols. Uh, let's apply changes. This is the recommendation to create stronger password, but uh, it's okay for this example. I'm going to use simple. Uh, now a router login name, uh, let it be admin. So you, you will use this credential to enter this interface in future and create password. And then hit next. So the internet connection setting is finished. This is your summary, network name and SSID. You can open your Wi-Fi settings once again and connect to your ASUS network. Click on connect and enter your password you've just created. Now hit next. It's very fine and connected. And as you can see, the second unit was connected automatically. You don't have to do anything. Now you can uh, place this unit somewhere in Wi-Fi dead zone. Uh, once again, um, up to 50 feet, but 30 to 40 is recommended. You don't have to search for the secondary units manually. You can just close that tab, uh, open a new one, enter the router's IP address once again, hit enter. Now you need to enter your admin username and password. Uh, you've just created and click on sign in. It takes you to the router's web interface, but this time you have lots of settings here, much more than in Asus router application. Cool feature on the dashboard is you can change the color of ROG logo on your rotors or set uh, pulsation mode like this. It's pretty cool to me. Uh, basic wireless settings is in wireless tab. You can click on that and change your network name, change password, separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks, use WPS, WDS and so on. Uh, next, very important for gaming rotor is game acceleration features. You can enable three levels of gaming acceleration from here. Also interesting thing is uh, game radar. You can see who plays these games in the world. Uh, and actually that's it. Your system is up and running guys. I hope that was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, any questions comment below and see you in the next videos. Bye guys.